We're here with Dave Arnold from the French Culinary Institute. My job is to basically think of new ideas, techniques, and technologies for chefs, and you know, and new ingredients, and also to figure out new ways to use ingredients or, or ways to make ingredients better. This is kind of like your mad scientist lab that we're standing in the middle of here. Exactly. This is our repurposed closet where we store a lot of our equipment, our centrifuges, the rotary evaporator, um, you know, our pressure cookers, uh, things like that. So this is pretty much everything gets staged out of here. So, uh, so in Turkey, there's this ice cream that it's made with uh, made with an orchid powder, and the orchid is celeb, right? They powder it, they make a flour out of it, and then they make an ice cream with that, and what, and they also make a drink with it, right? But the ice cream, one of the cool things about it is you make the ice cream, and then you. I've never had it. Uh, apparently, you've had it the real deal, deal in Turkey. I've had it. But they they basically they sit there beating it while right before they serve it, and the act of, of beating it with these kind of I guess they're kind of spoon sticks, right? Yeah. They beat them, it becomes extremely stretchy and it has a snap to it like a bite. Now, uh, this powder you're not allowed to import it uh, into the U.S. You're not allowed to export it out of Turkey actually because it's not technically endangered, but there's not enough of it even to satisfy satisfy the demand in Turkey, so they don't allow it to be exported. Right? So, okay. so what happens is, is uh, there's all these people who try to come up with um, new ways to do it without using the orchid powder. And they use a variety of different hydrocolloids. And we have a couple different recipes. And then one day, though, we just blended a bunch of steamed potatoes into some creme anglaise ice cream base. And bam, it was super stretchy, just like Celeb, but with a kind of a potato taste. So we really kind of I like it. So that's what we're, that's what we're going to do, do here. We're going to take the uh, creme anglaise base, and then we're going to put it into the Vita Prep and we're gonna actually blend uh, the mix. And what you're actually, you know how when you make mashed potatoes, you don't want the mashed potatoes to get all gluey? Yeah. Right, so you wanna be careful. So we actually want them to get all gluey. So right now you're putting the, the steamed potatoes into the creme anglaise. Exactly. I think it's gonna need more than that. Right? And you can see as it pours, it's gluey. It, the liquid nitrogen just flies out. So you have to be more careful making this kind of liquid nitrogen ice cream than you do making normal liquid nitrogen ice cream. Is uh, the liquid nitrogen, I mean, if it hits you, is it like paint nothing? Okay. I mean, yeah, if it lands on you and stays, like, yeah. like let's say I'm like this and a drop stays there, yeah. that'll burn you. Uh, you know okay. what I mean? It's just a question of making sure that it's not going to stick on you. You see how it looks like Got that, that bite, that crew. Yeah. But unfortunately, it doesn't last if you freeze it overnight. Oh nice. my god, that's so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> The texture is amazing. Yeah. And you know, we have you know some safety instructions on the blog, but it's kind of a uh, a pain if you don't have a. An, it's nice to have an outdoor or ground level place. Read, read the read this safety post on okay, the blog. That, first. But right. a lot of things are like that. Deep fryers, for instance. Yeah. Deep fryers are very unsafe, and yet we all deep fry. At least you should deep fry. Right. Deep frying is good. You should deep fry.